Welcome to 3dmotive.com. I'm Chad Morgan and in this lesson we're going to discuss quadruped rigging in Maya. We're going to start the lesson by going through some rigging standards that have helped me throughout my career. They aren't necessarily the way to rig, but it is the way that I've been taught, the way that I have found works best for me, and so I'm going to share those practices with you. Moving on from that, we're going to take our quadruped character, we're going to lay down the joints, and we're going to skin the character to those joints, and then we're going to move forward and create a control rig. And the interesting thing about a quadruped rig is that if you're used to biped rigging, which is the bread and butter of what you're rigging in games, because almost all your characters are human or human-like, there's going to be a couple of unique problems with a quadruped rig. Specifically, we're going to have to deal with the extra joints in the dog's hind leg and we're going to have to definitely get a spline IK going so we can move the hips and shoulders independently. So we'll be covering all that in this and preceding modules. So with that, let's get started.